Every day, thousands of people hit the road heading towards their dreams. But sometimes those dreams collide with a harsh reality. Auto accidents with 18 wheelers can change lives in an instant. That's why you need the experience and expertise of St. Martin and Bork. With over 50 years of experience, St. Martin and Bork have fought for justice for the victims of truck accidents. If you've been in a wreck with an 18 wheeler, know your rights. Call St. Martin and Bork today to schedule your free consultation. Everybody, welcome back to Bayou Time. We're checking in with Assumption Parish to see how they're doing in the storm, after the storm, uh, plus a few arrests that have happened over the last couple of days. For that, we go to Commander Lonnie Cavalier of the Assumption Parish Sheriff's Office. Lonnie, thank you so much for joining us. How, how did Assumption Parish make it through the storm? Thanks for having us. We, we fared out uh, well. Uh, you know, we did, we do, did have a significant amount of, of, uh, of uh, utility damages. Uh, we had some flooding in the Labreville area. At, at our peak, we were 95% without power, and we've been restored up to 96%. Now they're just basically trying to catch some outlying areas, uh, single homes or, or single streets. Uh, we also had a lot of tree damage and, you know, some moderate structural damage. Uh, but not, you know, not as bad as it could have been. Yeah, uh, no doubt. But uh, glad, yeah, that's a lot of power uh, being out. So yeah, good to get a community up and running again there. Uh, we have a couple of arrests. We start with a, a second degree uh, battery and a simple burglary, right? On Friday, uh, September 13th, which was let this past Friday, sheriff's deputies were dispatched to uh, the area of 249 Vivian Street in Bayou Lewis. Uh, where they made contact with an individual identified as Jerry Charles Cortez uh, of 249 Vivian Street in Bay Lewis. Uh, Mr. Cortez came into contact with deputies, advised them that he was working with a friend of his and the uh, uh, friend fell and was injured uh, and was down the street at another residence. Deputies went down to where the, the second individual was and determined that he had sustained significant facial and head injuries uh and uh his and he indicated to us that uh he had been beat by mr jerry charles cortez uh deputies return uh, sought medical help for the victim and then returned to locate mr cortez and when they did so mr cortez was actually in the battery of victims vehicle uh which he was not authorized to be in and had taken some tools from that uh, vehicle. Uh, Jerry Charles Cortez was arrested and booked into the Assumption Parish Detention Center on charges of second-degree battery and simple burglary, and he remains incarcerated with bond set at $50,000. Okay, our second one is, uh, is an Alexander. Uh, that, that was a uh, failure to appear. Yes, Darrell Lamont Alexander, 45, of Gray Street in Homa, had previously been arrested on charges of aggra aggravated flight from an officer. As a result of that arrest, he was ordered to appear in court, uh, at which time he failed to do so, resulting in a warrant being issued for his arrest. On that date, September 10th, uh, Darrell Lamont Alexander signed and waived extradition and was returned to Assumption Parish, where he was booked and incarcerated on charges of failure to appear on charge of aggravated flight from an officer, and he is being held without bond. You have another failure to appear, and it's a sex offender uh, registration violation. Yes, Marlon Simon, 42 years of age of Bell Rose, was pre previously arrested. He was charged at the date in which he failed to do so. He was, a warrant was ultimately a, a issued for his arrest, and he was uh, arrested by the West Wego Police Department and subsequently transferred to Assumption Parish, where he was booked into our facility on charges of failure to appear on a uh, count of violation of sex offender registration uh, uh, status. Uh, he remains incarcerated, and he as well was ordered held without bail. A, a couple of minutes to go. Uh, it, we can revisit on the uh, the storm uh, again. So you, you said 96% of your power is back up and running again, and you did have some flooding in, in certain areas of Labadeeville. Uh, was that like the most damage you've seen? I mean, as far as, you know, um, possible insurance and those kind of things, was the flooding was probably the most, most 
uh, damaging aspect? Yeah, the, the flooding was in the Labradorville area, and we had other pockets in the parish where people sustained some water damage. In the Bar Lewis area, we also, uh, uh, as you know, they were close to that right. uh, western eye wall. Right. Uh, they sustained a lot of structural damage. We also had a um, mobile home that caught on fire there in the in the brunt of the storm, and uh, continued on into a a uh, a uh, house. And that house burned down as well as as basically the fire department was not able to respond, and the house eventually collapsed and and was watered down by the weather. Uh, you know, with that said, uh, we found out okay. We had again a lot of, of uh, trees down. We began cleaning the roadways as soon as uh, the the storm allowed us to do so, and we were uh, all of our main thoroughfares were open by six o'clock on that morning following the storm. Yeah, I was surprised. I actually came through that way, through the Bayou Lewis way on the way to home on, uh, on I guess, Thursday and, and was surprised at how clean it was and, and how easy it was to get through. You could see that people didn't have power and there were a lot of trees that were probably uh, affected, you know, that uh, after the drought and those kind of things, a lot of those trees went down. So I guess all in all, I guess you guys feel good about your reaction to the storm. We feel great about it. You know, the deputies, well, well, everybody was provided chainsaws. We had help from the uh, local fire departments as well as some private help. Had some help from police jurors and uh, uh, the police jury uh, work crews and DOTD. And, and it was a big deal for us to be able to get the roadways open as quick as we did. And we had some mighty large trees that yeah. were across roadways. Yeah. Uh, and now it's a process of everybody just kind of getting their trash over to the to the roadway. Collection should start at the beginning of next week uh, uh, and and continue until it's done. Overall, we were very pleased with 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 how things went. Uh, it was you know worked very well by all of our public bodies, and uh, you know we think we we we've, we've fared out extremely well. It could have been a lot worse damage wise. For sure. Well, thank you for the update. That's Commander Lonnie Cavalier from the Sumption Parish Sheriff's Office. Thanks, Lonnie. Thank you. All All right. We'll be right back with more Bayou Time after this. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS. Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. 